No kidding. Chad D's already in here. Who? Chad D. I got squirrel pee on my shoulder. Sitting here in a chair. Mama was feeding baby squirrels. And one of them thought it'd be a good idea to climb up on the back of my chair and pee on me. Oh, he's up in my shirt. Hang on, I gotta get him out. The more you try to get him out, the further he's gonna go. No, he's sliding down. Um, had a couple people interested in the baby squirrels, so I didn't know how to do a video on them other than just do a live feed. They are a trip. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? They won't go nowhere. I'm just going to let him hang out here on the handrail. I'm going to set you guys up somewhere. I don't know where yet. I won't be able to read the comments, so. <laughs> hang on, everybody. I'll get set up. I think I might have it. That'll work, won't it, Mama? He's going to come over and knock my phone off. Don't you dare. Come here to me. Come here. So, Mama just got done feeding them, so they're not hungry right now. But this here's the little male. Mama's got the female nestled into her shirt. He is full of. What'd you get him, Whiskey? He is Mama, wound up. Them in that milk. You do it to them. You make me mix a whole bunch of stuff together. Alex is playing with the dogs. We got deer in the back field back there trying to eat out of the food plot. Who we got on here? <laughs> Teach him to water ski. <laughs> we don't have a pool. Somebody refuses yeah. to buy us. We're not pool. getting a pool either. If we mom, if you want to go play in the pool you can go see uh cowboy. Hank, huh? don't you dare. No, Hank's sniffing my little squirrel. No. Quit. No. <clears throat> Let me see who all got in here. <laughs> These daggone squirrels just. Now that Walgo is just all right, now they don't want nothing to do with you. It's because the dang dogs are out running around. And Alex, funny, put the dogs back in the house. Alex, take the dogs around front and play with them. Or something. He is crawling, trying to go up my shirt again. Quit it. No, he wants to get up top. Hank's messing with him. Get up there. Hank, get out of here. Hank won't hurt him. Hank just wants to sniff and play with him because Go. he's got Out. Go. goat's milk all over his mouth from where they just got done eating. And she used to licking it off of Tori when she was baby. Yeah, he used to mother Tori and now he tries to mother the squirrels. <laughs> Hank don't hurt him. He, he likes to play with him. It's anybody... In my live feed, has anybody ever had baby squirrels before? Skitter Cab, what's going on, old timer? Chad D, this, um, Mama's cat's probably the one that has me worried the most over the little squirrels. No! More than anything, because the cat, I think, is looking at it like it's a mouse, which probably wouldn't turn out good for the cat in the end result after it would hurt my little mouse. <laughs> yeah. Alfred said let them get a little older and they'd be good eating. We don't eat our pets. Dark horse firewood. Not much, buddy. Just sitting out here playing with the squirrels. It just got done raining here and the temperature dropped like 20 degrees, so it feels really, really, really good outside. It's about 60, 65 degrees outside now. I told Mama, why not sit outside and feed them? Because they're scared, that's why. Uh, Booter said he caught a few squirrels a few years back. How long did you end up keeping them, Booter? I'm trying to figure out. It's the middle of September, and I don't know. He's trying to go up my shirt again. Now he's digging. I don't know if it's uh, going to be warm enough to turn these suckers loose here at the middle of October, first part of November. <sighs> Give me it. No, Skitter Kev. 
Uh, Alfred, we had uh, baby coons back before too, but I couldn't. There's no way I could have held a coon like we're holding these squirrels. The coon that we had, I think, was related to Mama. It was a little crazy. Baby raccoon make good pets. Todd Reynolds. What do you say, old timer? See, I've, I've heard a bunch of people say that they've had coons. This daggone squirrel is going to go all the way to the top of my shirt. Whatever. Hey, they got a new place in Westboro called the Juicy Crab. Okay, Mama. It's behind McDonald's. You guys want to see place. the sunset? Hang on. I don't know if it's that place. Uh, you ain't much in this phone. Every once in a while I can send pictures of it to Cowboy and he likes them. But We had uh, pet cows from birth and we ate them. <laughs> I like pets. Well, I don't think we're going to eat them, Alfred. Get her. Eric Pegg. Oh, we love the new place. I wish you could see her. If I just ever get time off of work to be able to do some work around here to finish getting nestled into this place, I would really like it. Mama has got a squirrel sleeping in between her underarm. her underarm and her boob. Not my boobs, my, my boobs fat. Her underarm pit, whatever you want to call it. This side her tit. Oh my god. She's curled up in a But ball. they do it all the time. Look, she, come here. Yeah, she wants me to bring the phone over there. Yes, come here. To show you YouTube. See nothing. We're okay, Mama. Why? But, what was the, oh, getting time off work. I've almost got Mama's cedar bed frame done. I might at all. I don't have to work tomorrow, thank God. Yeah, thank God, so I can get out of the living room. And <sighs> the what a run that was! Fourteen day run, and we finally finished this big job that we was doing down on beside Illinois. I can't remember where it was, but down by Illinois, we finally got it done, and then moved on to a small job that had seven loads on it. Knuckle booms broke down, so I had to set the dending den up as a knuckle boom and buck up seven loads of logs and get rid of them today but wow what a mess just keep some food on the porch for them they will stick around woodcutter 62 appreciate it um is that just kind of a open the door and kick them out kind of thing and if they come back they come back and don't worry about them is that what i should do or i don't know I'm probably over exaggerating. I mean, they're just daggone squirrels, but that's like letting your we're putting out quite out. a bit. We're putting out quite a bit of effort to keep them alive, and I don't want to just throw them out there and open the door and there'd be a hoot out sitting there chowing down on him. <laughs> I keep them around by four weeks and turn them loose, and the little female come back to the porch to eat peanuts for a while. We haven't gave ours peanuts yet, Booter. We gave them, uh, Mama went to the store and got a sorted pack of unsalted peanuts, or, uh, nuts. It's, it's got pecans, pecans pistachios. pistachios, cashews, hazelnut, oh, almonds. Yeah. They love them almonds. Oh, they tear them up. Oh, my gosh. This one might have to go on Facebook. No. <laughs> Look at it. It's so cute. I mean, I can make it. So we're taking naked selfies with a squirrel. Oh, no, look, I can even do this. That way it doesn't look like nothing. You can't really see anything. It does look pretty cute. The squirrel's all laid over I mean, like, come here like a fat man on, in a recliner. Get it on YouTube. You can see nothing. No. I wish you could this. <laughs> Danny, that is pretty good. I need to tell Tater to give me some uh, paid time off. Yeah, <laughs> I'll see it happen. Uh, when was kids stump jumper had? When we was kids stump jumper had baby hawks for pets. Bad storm knocked the tree out. Uh, they came back to him the next year. I'll be. That is cool. I'm surprised mom let you bring him home. She said no, no, and double no all the way home. I opened the door and stuck them inside while she was inside taking a shower. 
when she came out of the shower, she seen him, picked him up, and she said, well, I guess we can keep him. The deers are back. I got deers out back in my food plot chowing down. And dogs, all of them are out there, and it's not even facing the A guy I worked with has a squirrel uh, that sleeps in a cage in his shop, and he lets it out every morning. He says every night it is waiting to get back in. That's pretty cool. I need to get up. It wouldn't be so bad if we can train the squirrels to go to a litter box or something, but I mean, they're just babies now. They don't understand what they're doing, but every time you go to feed them, like they take two steps, they just drop three turds on you in between them two steps. An old whisker biscuit got up here on top of my chair wall go and peed all down the back of the chair. That was you done gun for yourself. Done good for yourself and your family. Well, thank you, Michael. Appreciate it. Get some deer corn. They'll love it. Now, what's the difference between deer corn and field corn? I thought corn was corn. Sweetness, maybe. I don't. I don't know. I tried to give them cinnamon Cheerios, and nobody wants me to give. No, I didn't want to give them cinnamon Cheerios, but they do like just regular Cheerios. They they eat the crap out of them. They leave everything but, or they eat everything but the corn. Yeah, we was logging over by Illinois, and I grabbed the near corn out of that guy's field and brought it home to him, and they don't want nothing to do with it. Yeah, that's what I thought, Chad D. Oh, I am tired. I am Yes, they are. Alex, calm down. The deer are out there. Too Fast 6-5, how you doing this evening? Crack corn, crushed kernels. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't want to go out and buy a bunch of stuff. And I mean, I guess I could feed it to the deer. I got a deer feeder back here, but I grabbed some white corn, and I don't know why the corn was white. Some of that corn was snow white, and some of it was yellow. I don't know why that is. Junkyard said he was gonna make um, cornmeal out of it. I think that's what he said. Out of that white corn, but. I thought cornmeal was yellow. You can't even see him. He blends in with my camouflage chair. Ooh. Well, mine's right here. He blends in there pretty good. I see him right now. He's I'm going to turn the porch light on. Hang on. You got to hang on and turn the porch light on. We got a porch light at this house. The other house didn't have a porch light. Yeah, well, it didn't work. And I have yet to go up in the attic. I'm not scared of it. I just ain't had time to do it. You've got poop on the back of your shirt. I don't care. Two deers out back, Mama. Cat scratching. She's scratching on the wall. Nova wants out. That's Mama's cat, Nova. She wants to come out here and see the little squirrels. A little male got mean on me and bit me before I, I turned him loose. The little female wasn't mean at all. Uh, our little male bit me, but I mean, it was, I had spilt milk on my hand and I think he was just trying to get that milk off and it would, it didn't hurt. It didn't bother me. What? Oh, what's that mud dauber nest? I was getting her to say he's got the runs. He's all over that chair. What's in that cup? He's still, he's still thirsty. Give him a shot, Mama. I can't. I can't move my arm. Well, I'll do it while you can't move your arm. Here, 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 here. You want it? Oh, yeah. Been feeding them out of this syringe. It's got a hard plastic tip on it. That way they don't eat that little rubber tip. Look at him. He's going to town. We're trying to get him hooked on to like a rabbit waterer. Yep. And they mess with it just because it's got that rattling ball in there. But as far as whether or not they're drinking it, it ain't much if they are. They're really hooked on this milk. Do you want any more of this or not? That's what I thought. And whenever he don't listen and he starts acting up, all you got to do is tell him you're going to start the stove and get the frying pan. And he simmers down real quick. Here, come on now. He just wants to run around that crazy. <clears throat> I just want to know how much they are. Pa! 
popcorn. Yes. Why don't they eat popcorn? Who, somebody told me the other day make popcorn and give it to them. I was like, well, yeah, it's corn. I guess you can get the unsalted and unbuttered kind, can't you? I bet they would like it. And if they don't, I will. I just don't know how much they are. Really? Doing great getting ready or getting rid of a pal for thirst I have. Yeah, I've been thinking about going and mixing me up a good drink. I've got so many. It has been a good long while since I've had a Captain Morgan and lemonade. <laughs> Way to go, Phil. It's been two hours Look. since you've had a Captain Morgan. He wants to drink out of that cup. He don't want the syringe no more. You know, he just wants mama. Whatever. He wants to read her face. <laughs> Whatever. He's like, wait, eyelashes? What? All right, everybody. I guess I'm going to get off here. Go inside and mix me up, mix me up a drink. And what are you doing? My... drink a few. I ain't got to work tomorrow. There, I, need one I might get the bed frame on there and uh, get some video of it. I've almost got it done, so it's going to be silly to... Do a video of a bed frame that's something seems squirrely, Thomas Hilton. But I was saying about the bed frame, it kind of be silly just to take off in the middle of the bed frame. But I did screw it up. Thank you, Booter. You guys take care. Also, how much you want for the squirrel of uh, that that big red 350x you got? Would make it even trade. Uh, too fast 65, same to you. Take care and have a blast night. Same to you, Billy. But I don't know. I have to um, dig around in my video thing. I've got a bunch of different videos coming out. I flicked him in the face. A lot of wood stuff, and then there is some stuff that I've got going on here at home that I'm gonna try to filter in on a channel too. Let him go. He doesn't want to be held. He just wants to do what he wants. What's the other one? Yeah, I still got my, my big red. It's right behind you. sitting over here in the dark. That's one thing I need to get done is get my lean-to done on my shed so I can put the big red up and get it out of the weather. Um, so I, I can't say as far as what I got coming up. It's already been uploaded. I just got to hit the button and publish it. So there is some more tiny coming. Probably a lot of tiny coming because this job had a lot of tiny on it. A lot of din din. And, uh, did not get any of that small job that we done today because it's just so crazy doing the seven loads, getting them loaded out and get everything over with. What about the blue semi? Big Red 350X wants to know about old blue. Before I get off here, I'll give everybody the update on old blue. It was back around, well, it was September 28th of 2019 whenever I rolled that truck. We took the truck to a shop. Not going to say the shop. I'm not that kind of person. But we took the truck to a shop back in late February. And the guy still ain't touched the truck. I don't know what the deal is. I don't know what is going on. I messaged him earlier this week and asked him what was going on with it. If he's got any... Have you even touched the truck? Pretty well is what I asked him in a nice, calm manner. And he said that he was sick and going to try to finish the truck over Labor Day weekend and throughout this week. I said, do you have any pictures of it? And he sends me pictures of it as they're taking the cab and the hood and everything junk off of it. Which, there was a guy standing there in a coat. Which means that the pictures that he sent me was back in probably February or March. Whenever we first dropped the truck off. But as far as having the truck back, we're not going to get the truck back anytime soon. So there is that. If anybody wants to know what or where or the update on Old Blue, that is everything I know. Other than the person that's working on it, I've, I've got one name above everything I just said. Other than that, I don't know anything else about it. 
uh big red 350x i don't think they're doing anything special just slap paint on it put a cab on it put a hood on it make sure it drives down the road and give it back that's how that's how hard it is but i don't know what is taking so long to get that done chris kaiser pretty sure the old boy has already been paid and i'm pretty sure that's why the truck's not done but it's not my truck it's not my money so it's not my problem I just happened to be the one that was in it for the ride. But I'm going to get off here, go mix me up a few stout ones, sit out back, and enjoy it. Because this is all my name. Y'all stay safe and stay productive.